got a number of guys that I mean, we really are. We're a D-line by committee. You know, we just we believe in that. That's our, regardless of our personnel, we're gonna we're gonna rotate guys and keep them fresh. And I think what's nice is these young guys are put us in position to where you don't feel hamstringed. I mean, either physically or schematically in doing that. Last year you played Cam <coughs> Jones at the Husky, and then in the spring kind of moving yeah. around. How's he looking at Stinger and linebacker so far in this camp? Very fast, you know what I mean? Very aggressive. He's just naturally a violent player, you know what I mean? So regardless of where you put him, he has a knack to find the ball. And when he shows up, he, you know, he's, he's got an attitude, you know what I mean? So that, that Cam Jones is a football player, period, right? My job as the coordinator, right, and our job as a defensive staff is to take a dynamic football player and create different ways to get him uh, close to the ball. So he will play Stinger. He's going to do some other things uh, as well. Uh, and then even in that, we're going to find creative ways to get him in one-on-one -on -one matchups. He's special. Concurrent to that, Mike is a guy who played a lot last season. We've seen him kind of running with that first-team yeah. defense some here in the fall. Just how much have you seen him grow from maybe last year as a yeah. freshman? Yeah. Mike, Mike McFadden is a really good football player as well. In fact, uh, there were plays that he made out on the field last year. I'm not sure he knew what the defensive call was, but he made the play. So a heck of a job there by him. Uh, now he knows what to do. Uh, he knows where to put his eyes. And when you take an athlete like that that's instinctive, and now he's starting to figure out what to do, his production is, is going through the roof, as I'm sure you guys can see. Who are some of the younger guys are stepping up maybe that have surprised you? Uh, I tell you what, uh, the young freshman, Josh Sanguinetti, um, it, uh, he is so ball savvy. He's got great quicks, all those things. Um, those young inside defensive linemen, C.J. Person, uh, Bo Robbins is playing inside and outside. Um, excuse me, uh, 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 Jeremy Passmore is playing inside and outside. Bo Robbins on the outside, and then C.O. Nofo. All right, uh, he's. Uh, I'm telling you, those young defensive linemen are going to be special. Obviously, this is your first fall camp as just defensive coordinator. I mean, it, yeah. it's a bit of an old adjustment, or do you feel pretty prepared coming out of the spring? Well, first. First as defense coordinator here, you know what I mean? So he, he, this is certainly, uh, I think, because of the relationship that Tom and I have and because this will be my fifth year as coordinating in the last six, certainly this is my comfort zone is being the coordinator. And uh, and just, you know, I love building a culture of defense. I, I, I think our scheme is, is great. I think we're ahead of the game right now of, of where the game is going and where it has been. But at the same time, the building of culture to get players to execute at a high level and care more about themselves than they do, or excuse me, care more about each other than they do themselves. That uh, That's what's fun about this time of year. How do you feel like the secondary is performing early in camp? Fast, playing fast right now, uh, playing against really good competition. You know, some of these big wide receivers, they're so powerful, and we've got quarterbacks that can place it just about wherever they want to right now. Uh, and so they're, they're challenging route concepts and all that stuff. So I, I'm really excited just about their physicality and speed. Yep. Anything? Thanks. All right. Thanks, guys.